What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon X and Y tutorial series. So in the last episode, I can't even remember what the hell we did because it's been so long since I've done this series. So anyways, this episode is kind of fulfilling a few requests I've been getting on the Facebook group for um, X and Y at the moment. A lot of people are requesting on how to get either the metal coat or how to get more metal coats. Obviously, there's a few pokes in this gen that require metal coat to evolve. Um, Scissor is one of them, so you need to um, trade a Cypher with metal coat to get Scissor, which a lot of people need to get Mega Scissor. Um, another one is Steelix, so trade Onyx with a metal coat to get a Steelix. Um, just something's biting me in the back of my neck to say there's another poke that evolves through metal coat. I'm like derping out at the moment because. It's just one of those derping days for me at the moment. I can't remember anymore, but I think they're the only two anyway that require a metal coat to trade. I could be wrong. But anyways, um, there is one metal coat that I know of in the games already. So if you haven't picked this up already, um, this is the place to go. And that's in the Pokeball Factory in Lavery City. So just walk up this bridge here. And I probably would guess a lot of people would miss this one. I know I definitely did the first time through. Um, it's just in that little corner there. Um, it becomes a bird's eye view as you approach it. So just pick that one up there and that's your first metal coat. Now the only other way to get metal coat is through, um, well, Pokemon. Uh, there is a total of four Pokemon that hold metal coat in total. Um, there are the obvious, which is Magnemite and Magnetong, and then there's Matang as well as um, Bronzong, which I actually honestly didn't know held um, metal coat. So the more you learn, I suppose. Alright, so from there I'm just going to fly my way back to Kilo City and make my way to the Friend Safari. So for those who have just joined into this series or have just stumbled across this series, um, um, for those who aren't familiar with the whole easiest way to get pick up, um, or sorry, the thieving items of Pokemon is have a Pokemon in your lead that has compound eyes. Um, I have a Yama with compound eyes as well as sleeves on it. So what compound eyes does, it increases the chance of a wild Pokemon holding an item by 50%. Oh, sorry, by... Uh, crap, by 20%. Um, I think it's 20% anyway. Um, anyways, it takes a 5% Pokemon to 7.5%, which is exactly what Matang, Magnemite, Magnetong, and Bronzong have of holding a Metal Coat. I can't believe how much I'm derping out today, so it is 50%. Oh, wow. Oh, Cliff Key. Alrighty, so... But here is my Yama, who's got Compound Eyes. So as I said, that raises a chance of a wild Pokemon holding um, a held item. So at the moment, we're just looking for Metal Coats. And really, I just want Matangs at the moment. Alright, so another Cliff Key. Oh my god, can these things leave me alone? Um, also in this safari, there's also Ferrisseed, and as I mentioned, Matang, so I'm going to be running into those quite a lot, I assume. It's just usually my bad luck. Alright, so there it is, Matang, so that's who we're after. Alright, so out comes my Yamma, and I'm just going to feed it. So if I don't kill it, hopefully Matang takes me down. That would be pretty... Oh, look, I scored! Holy crap! Wow! Um, I've never been, actually been that lucky before with Metal Coat. First time, first go when I get Metal Coat straight off the bat. Woohoo! So that's how you get more Metal Coats. Oh my god. I seem to get really lucky when I record these episodes. As I mentioned, um, I don't usually score Metal Coat that quickly. When I did do the test run, it was sometime during my holiday that I finally managed to get a safari with Matang. Oh, I reckon I did three hours worth of searching. I only walked out with five metal coats. God, oh, that was terrible luck that day, I'm guessing. Rightio, so let's see how many more metal coats we can snag and see who else is in this safari as well. Right, so there's the ferrous seed that I was talking about. Um, I'll just speed up the process of killing Yammer and just use seed on ferrous seed. Ferrous seed does have a chance of having... Um... Oh, God. Oh, flush cannon. Wow, that looks really cool. Oh, its spikes just flow out. Um, Ferrocid has a chance of holding sticky barbs, so you'll know when you've got that because that attacks you every turn. It's kind of like extra res residual damage. And I didn't pick it up, that's good. It probably would tell me if I picked it up, but usually it attaches to any Pokemon that makes physical contact with you. 
Right, so another Pharaoh seed. I'm just going to keep feeding Pharaoh seed until Yama's health drops down. And then I'll bring out my Frisker, which is probably the most useful way of finding items on Wild Pokes. Oh, and I picked up Sticky Barbs. So there's a good example of Sticky Barb. Alright, so as I mentioned, um, every turn, it's kind of like residual damage in a way. Um, it just takes health off um, your Pokemon, whoever's holding it. And as I said, it always passes through physical contacting moves. Right, so let's take off that item off my Yama. And the usual advice, if you're feeding items, make sure to take the item that you pick up straight off the Pokemon once you finish the battle. Otherwise, that Pokemon cannot pick up any more items. So I'll just keep feeding on Ferris Seed, see if I can pick up any more Sticky Barbs. And of course, trying to kill off this Yama. Oh, ooh, actually this should do a lot of damage. Nice, it killed it. I know that sounds pretty cruel, but I do need that thing dead. Alrighty, so usually um, I suggest this method, um, having a, a Pokemon second in your party with Frisk. So I've got my um, Goragisk, I can't, sorry if I mispronounced that one. I'm still learning all my 6th gen pokes and some of the 5th gen pokes as well. Alright, so we've got another Matang. So out comes my pumpkin Pokemon, I'm just going to call it that. So if the um, Matang or the Ferrisseed has a, um, an item, my Gorgas will frisk out the item. So it'll actually tell you if it's holding an item or not, which is a lot easier than just randomly feeding a Pokemon and hoping for the best. Alrighty, so another Ferrisseed appears. Right, so this one's holding nothing as well. So hopefully Frisk will actually tell you if it's holding Sticky Barbs or not. I'm assuming it would. Um, I think Sticky Barbs on Ferris Seeds another 5% chance as well. Um, also, the Compound Eyes effect is still in effect, even though Yama is fainted. A lot of people have asked me about that, and yes, it's still in effect. Alright, so another Ferris Seed appeared... I'm yet to see another Matang, and yes, this one does hold a sticky barb as well, so I'm just gonna um, thieve that one as well. May as well pick him up. Right, so Iron Barbs again on my Gorgas. Goes for the Iron Defense. Oh my god, for her seeds animation, that actually looks really cool. Right, so I get hurt by sticky barbs, of course. Just gonna run from that. And it's pretty irony. The only Matang that I've seen so far in this episode was the one holding Metal Coat. My god, I feel really lucky at the moment. Right, so I'm going to take that Sticky Barbs off my Gorgas. And as I said, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that one. I don't really like that Pokemon, so I'm not going to bother learning its name. My god, another Pharisee. What is this? Alright, so this one is not holding an item. Oh, at least we're getting a, a little bit of a demonstration of Frisk, at least. Um, even though we're not going for the item that I said we'd be going for, but I suppose one's decent enough. Right, so another Cliff Key. So, so far that's been my second most common poke, and Matang's being the rarity at the moment. It's really, really annoying. I've noticed Safari can be really random as far as the rarities of pokes. Um, it usually depends on what time of day, like... Usually when I come here during probably early hours of the morning, Matang is probably the most common and Ferris Seed's the rarest. I don't know, it's it's different every time I come into this safari. Although having said that, this safari's been pretty bizarre. Uh, I've had one time I've come here and it said I've only had two poke, yet I've seen the person online. I don't know. Oh, come on, where is Matang? God, I'd be raging if I didn't pick up a metal coat from Matang. Good grief. I suppose this is a prime example of how hard it can be to like farm items like um, Metal Coat, other set examples is Everstone, um, Lucky Egg, although Lucky Egg is coupled with Lucky Punch, which often trolls you. Um, what other items have I done? Heart Scale? Oh no, Heart Scale is pretty common actually. Um, oh my god, I've done like a few of them already in these episodes and I can't remember which ones I've already done. Oh my god, another Cliff Keep. Um, Cliff Key does not hold anything, which is annoying. But yeah, just um, a refresher. Um, the four Pokemon that hold Metal Coat um, that appear in the wild. Uh, Magnemite doesn't appear in the wild, but uh, Magneton does. Um, I could be wrong about the Magnemite appearing in the wild. I've 
don't know if it does appear in the wild, but I know Magneton does appear in Safari. So if you've got a Magneton Safari and you want Metal Coat, you can go Thieving there. Same deal with Matang and Bronzong. They're both uh, Safari pokes. So if you've got them in your Safari, Thieve them and you'll also have a chance for Metal Coat. Oh my god, a Matang disappeared just before I was just about to wrap this episode up. Oh, let's see if it's got Metal Coat. No, it doesn't. Oh well. But yeah, as I was saying, Matang, Bronzong, Mangletong are Safari Pokes, so if you want extra metal coats, go out and save them with a compound eyes poke at your lead, and hopefully you have a little bit more luck than I did finding them and um, obtaining metal coat. But yeah, um, that's it for this episode. Um, probably in the next episode, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to cover. Um, I've covered most of the requests that I've done already for tutorials. Um, I may cover Deep Sea Scale and Tooth in the next episode, actually. So, yeah. Until the next tutorial episode, um, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!